time now to take a look at what's been happening in the world of sports. Joining us here in the studio is our sports editor, Paul Neat. Evening, Paul. Evening. Let's first start with golf. A best ever finish from a South Korean at the PGA Open Championship. Yes, that's right. Kim Joo Hyung, or Tom Kim, as he's known on the PGA Tour, he finished in second place. This is the best ever finish by a South Korean at the Open, and at 21, he's the youngest since Seri Ballesteros, who was 19 when he finished as runner-up in 1976. Kim, on Sunday, local time at the Royal Liverpool Golf Club in Hoylake, England, finished at 7 under par 277, six behind winner Brian Harmon of the United States. He actually finished tied for second with three others, Sepp Straka of Austria, Jason Day of Australia and John Rahm of Spain. South Korea's previous best at the Open was Che kyung Ju, finishing eighth in 2007. And moving on to football now, um, Cho Gyu Sung had a debut to remember for his new club in Denmark. Yes, a goal on his debut for FC Midtjylland. It came on Saturday, the opening day of the new Danish Superliga season, and Cho Gyu Sung scored the game's only goal in a 1 0 win over Hivovda. It came in the 56 minutes, a bullet header at the near post following a cross from the left. Cho played 73 minutes before being replaced by Sori Kaba. He joined Midtjylland from K League side Jumbo Kunde Motors on July 11th, earning a move to Europe after a meteoric rise to fame following last year's World Cup, where he scored two goals as Korea reached the last 16. And let's move on to badminton. Um, a second Korea Open championship in a row for An Seong. What can you tell us? Yes, the second seed, An Seong, beat uh, Tai Chi Young of the Chinese Taipei on, in Sunday's final here in Yosu. She won in straight sets as well, 21 9 and 21 15. Last year's win for An was a first for Korea in seven years. Now, for the first time in 29 years, a South Korean has won the competition for two years in a row. The last time a Korean did that was uh, Bang Soo Hyun in 1993 and 1994. It's also the first time anyone has won the competition back to back in 22 years since Camilla Martin of Denmark in the year 2000 and 2001. But for Anne this season, it's her sixth gold medal of the current campaign. Great achievement. And let's move on to swimming. The World Aquatics Championship, Hwang Son is due to compete in the semi-final tonight. Yes, that's right. In the men's 200-metre uh, freestyle, this is because he managed to tie for 13th in the heats earlier today with a time of 1 minute 46.69 seconds. The top 16 of 67 qualify, but Hwang was only 100th of a second ahead of Antonio Djakovic, who finished in 16th. He's aiming to become the first South Korean swimmer to win a medal at back-to-back -back World Championships. Lee Ho Jun also made it through after finishing in fifth. Meanwhile, there's a new women's world record in the 400-meter freestyle. Olympic champion Ariane Titmus of Australia finished at 3 minutes 55.38 seconds. All right, and finally, the Women's um, World Cup is well underway now with Monday being day five, and uh, we're less than 24 hours removed from South Korea's first game. Yes, that's right. Korea take on Colombia on, on Tuesday at 11 a.m. Korea Standard Time. It'll be, first, it'll be uh, Korea's first ever meeting against Colombia, a side that's ranked 25th in the world, Korea for comparison, or ranked 17th. But Korea are heading into their fourth World Cup, having also qualified in 2003, 2015 and 2019. They are, though, looking for their first win in a World Cup opener, having lost 4-0 to France in 2019, 2-0 to Brazil in 2015 and 3-0 to Brazil in 2003. The furthest Korea has made is the round of 16, that was in 2015, before then losing to France 3-0. The other two teams in Korea's group this year are Germany and Morocco. Their match kicked off at 5.30 p.m. Korea time, and Germany were 2-0 up at half time. Right. Looking forward to all that. Thanks for the wrap-up, Paul. See you next week. Thank you. See you.